The 5 Best Stand-Up Paddle Boards of 2021 Review Guide Stand-up paddle boarding has been around for a long time. It all started with a kid who was souping in the local lake. Now, it's one of the fastest growing water sports in the world. People paddle in all types of water, from tidal rivers, to open oceans, to calm lake waters. The sport has evolved into something very different from what it used to be. While these boards still have a very traditional paddleboard shape, stand-up paddleboards have evolved into a much more versatile watercraft. With the advent of inflatable paddleboards, the market has been flooded with a variety of new models, shapes, sizes, and prices. We've looked at all the top boards on Amazon, and in this list, you'll find our recommendations for the best stand-up paddleboards on the market. If you aren't sure which board is the right one to buy, then this list is for you. To give you this top 5 review, we have looked at 97 products and analyzed 2,884 customer reviews. If you want to know more details and information about the products mentioned in this video, you can check out the links in the description below. We have not listed these products in any specific order. So stay tuned to the end, so you don't miss the perfect choice for your needs. Our first product is the inflatable Dama Nature Yoga Board from Dama. The Dama Nature 9 feet 6 inches inflatable SUP board is a great board for those just getting into stand-up paddle boarding. It's an all-arounder that works great for a variety of water activities and is particularly well-suited for smaller or average-sized paddlers. The length versus width ratio of the Dama Nature SUP board is short and relatively narrow, this helps it perform well in a variety of settings. While it has a maximum weight capacity of 275 pounds, we'd say the more realistic maximum weight capacity is around 150, making it suitable for small or average-sized paddlers. It's good for a lot of things, but especially for those just getting into the sport. Here is what most customers are saying about the inflatable yoga board. Love all the accessories that came with it. Literally everything you would need to have a ton of fun with this board. The SUP board inflates quickly and has an awesome non-slip surface. Love the wood grain design. And here is what some of them don't like. The plastic piece which allows you to adjust paddle length broke. It's cheap plastic and just would not lock into place. Number 4 is the Tower Adventurer 2 Stand Up Paddle Board. Tower Paddle Boards is an American company with a long history of making quality inflatable SUPs. The Tower Adventurer 2 inflatable stand-up paddleboard is made from extremely rugged materials, like those you'd find on the highly regarded Zodiac boats and river rafts. These long and sturdy boards are known for their durability and can withstand years of abuse. If you are looking for a great board for river paddling, this one is a great option. It comes with a high-quality fiberglass paddle and comes completely assembled. With this SUP, you will have all the tools needed to confidently launch and paddle on any body of water. Their tough PVC material will stand up to years of abuse, and you can be sure that they will stand up to any river, lake, or ocean conditions. One word of caution though, tower paddle boards don't include a carrying backpack or leash. Although you can purchase these items separately, as they aren't included in this bundle. But the three-piece paddle, fin, and pump are included. The 6 inches thickness makes this board 4 times as rigid, with 2 times the weight capacity of many other boards. The added thickness makes the tower SUPs a great option for beginners and tandem riders alike. If you are looking for a SUP for river paddling, this is a great option. Here are the top things that customers who bought the inflatable 10 feet 4 inches stand-up paddle board are saying they like about it. The board is super easy to inflate with the pump included in the package, although I have to put quite a bit of effort into the last 10 pumps. I love that I can put it into the trunk of my car and go wherever. I'm a fairly fit 5 feet 11 inches female and the inflation takes me less than 5 minutes. And here is what some of them don't like. Overall I felt that this ISUP was slower and less stable than some traditional paddle boards I used, but it was still a decent performer. The next inflatable paddle board in line is the inflatable stand-up paddle board from Serene Life. The Serene Life inflatable is a straightforward and affordable entry-level board for families or lighter folks who are unsure of their commitment to the sport. It features a flat bottom, rounded nose, and square tail, and is best suited for flat water or relatively calm conditions. This model is less complex and less expensive than some of the larger boards that are more complicated to set up and take down, making it a great option for learning the ropes and getting your feet wet. While we love this board for its affordability, it has drawbacks. It's significantly less stable than larger options and has less cargo space, making it less ideal for larger families or heavier paddlers. It also lacks a dual handle system like many other boards have. The Serene Life Inflatable SUP comes with all of the tools and accessories you need to get out on the water for less than half the price of most higher end boards, making it a fantastic buy for families new to the sport. This model has a flat bottom, which makes it best suited for more casual and playful paddling. 
While we love the Serene Life for its affordable entry-level board, we think it's a little less stable than some of the larger options here, this could be a problem especially for those who are just starting to learn. But it isn't a bad board for the casual paddler who just wants to get out on the water for a fun day on the lake. In customer reviews, this is what they like about the Serene Life, inflatable stand-up paddle board. The quality of the board and its material is high and rivals that of boards in the $500 to $700 range. First of all the paddle board is awesome. It is sturdy and very easy to transport, inflate and deflate. Plus it all fits in the bag. And what some of them did not like. As mentioned by other reviewers, the bag feels a bit cheap, mostly the zipper, but so far it's done its job. At number 2 we have the Rock Inflatable SUP. The ROC Inflatable SUP is an affordable inflatable paddleboard and an ideal place to start for beginners. Featuring a simple and classic round nose design, this board is ideal for beginners to get on the water and have some fun. It features a bungee-style rear cargo system, two large detachable fins, and a large fixed fin. Its simple design is filled with plenty of versatility for all levels of paddlers. But the ROC isn't perfect. It isn't the fastest or the most efficient model. But for the price, we think it's a great option for families or new paddlers looking for an affordable way to get on the water. Its rounded nose makes it a little less stable in rougher water, and its lightweight construction makes it prone to getting tossed around in larger waves. This makes it a little bit unstable in rougher water. The ROC has all the right features for a fun board that is ideal for families or newer paddlers. Many of the users that have reviewed this like that. They are fairly easy to inflate it does take some arm strength, but my wife and 13-year-old stepdaughter can air them up in about 10 minutes. The bag it comes with is comfortable and easy to carry, I must admit, I was worried about the size of the bag, but they managed to make it big enough for the board. Few customers found that. The ROC board says it carries 300 pounds, but even when way underweight and inflated properly the board sometimes sits low in the water and is really hard to turn. Number 1 on our list is iRocker, all around 10 feet SUP. The iRocker All Around 11 is a great board for the complete beginner to intermediate paddler. This is a stable, nimble, and fun board that works great in a wide range of water conditions and looks great doing it. The All Around has a little more personality than some of our other top picks, and it has more features and functions. It has a higher weight limit, so you can bring your kids along for the day, or you can pack up your gear and go on a nice tour across the bay. The tough PVC laminated top sheet resists punctures and scuffs, and it wears very well. We are especially impressed with the stability of this board in choppy waters and its versatility in flat water. While we love the bright colors, some customers have expressed dissatisfaction with the location of the action mounts, and we have to agree that the location of the rear mounts is a little awkward. And we think that iRocker could have done a better job of locating them on the deck for easier access. This board is a great choice for most beginner to intermediate paddlers, and it comes at a great price. In customer reviews, this is what they like about the all-around 10 feet SUP. The best thing about the board is the people that run the company. Over the phone, they are extremely passionate about their product and are happy to answer all your questions. It's brilliant. The board itself is super tough, resilient, and stable, the pump is great due to the three filling modes, and the rucksack it all comes in, is strong and comfortable. Few customers who bought this thought that. Don't go with a white piece where your feet go, as it is pretty difficult to clean. We have placed the link for you in the description box below this video. Thank you all for watching. If you found this video useful, please hit the like button to let us know. And if you want more up-to-date review videos, then remember to subscribe and click the bell icon now. Finally, also take a look at these other videos.